welcome to FireTie WLAN Quick Start video. In this section, we will take you through unboxing and powering up your 5000 series access point and the FireTie WLAN controller FWC2000. The 5100 box contains a 48 volt power adapter that operates on AC input of 100 to 240 volts. Here is the Hotpoint 5100 wireless access point. There are six dual band 3 dBi antennas, Ethernet cable, RJ45, and a product documentation CD. You have to pick a suitable location for the device and use the provided power supply to power the unit. Attach the antennas. Hand tighten them, but do not over torque. The power LED should turn on immediately as you connect to the power supply. The 5100 needs to connect via a standard Ethernet RJ45 cable to the network. The 5200 box contains a PLE injector that accepts AC inputs of 100 to 240 volts, Hotpoint 5200 wireless access point, dual band 3 dBi omnidirectional staging antennas, SMA jack to type N plug adapter, weatherproof connector for Ethernet port, mounting bracket kit for pole and wall mounting, Ethernet cable, and product documentation CD. Attach the antennas to the antenna connector. Tighten them firmly. And point them vertically. Use the provided PLE injector to power the unit. The PLE injector needs to connect in via a standard Ethernet RJ45 cable to the network. And from the out port of the PLE injector, connect the 5200 via a standard Ethernet cable. The power LED should turn on as the device starts. FWC2000 box contains AC power cord, rack mounting kit, Ethernet RJ45 cable, and FWC2000. Pick a suitable location for the device and use the provided power cord to supply AC power to the unit. LED should turn on as the device starts. The FWC2000 needs to connect via a standard Ethernet RJ45 cable to the network. So, now that you have powered up your device, what's next? In this section, we'll take you through the basic configuration of FireTight WLAN products. Do ensure that the IP address of the computer you are using to configure is in the 192.168.224 subnet. For access points 5100 and 5200, we go to the URL 192.168.224.160. The username is admin and the password will be FireTight. The first thing we should suggest to do is to set the country code. We then select the access point name and location. Under the IP tab, select a suitable IP address for the access point depending on your network. 
Optionally, you can have the access point acquire an address via DHCP. If you want to change the access credential for the access point, the option is available under the Maintenance tab. Other configurations can be done under relevant tabs. For example, Radio Settings is available under Configuration, Wireless, and the Basic Settings. You can set radio channels and related parameters. Radio 1 is 2.4 GHz and Radio 2 is 5 GHz. FireTide Hotpoint 5000 series access points can operate as standalone devices or be associated with FireTide wireless controllers. Controller based operation known as the Manage Mode offers many additional features including roaming. The controller can manage the access points in the same layer 2 domain or across a layer 3 domain. For accessing the controller via browser, we go to the URL 192.168.224.250 and the default access credentials are admin and fire type. In the access point tab under the managed AP list, you can see a list of APs currently under management of this controller. If all APs were not discovered, run the discovery wizard. You will be asked to choose between two options. Option 1 should be chosen during the staging process and option 2 should be chosen in scenarios where APs are already deployed and running and need to be attached to a controller. Depending upon the network topology, you may need to provide the controller with a range of IP addresses to search during discovery. When the process finishes, you will be presented with a list of APs, their model numbers, their IP, and their Ethernet MAC addresses. You can choose the APs to be managed under this controller. You will see an optional password prompt to log into all APs. Once this is done, the AP will be upgraded to the controller-based image. At the end of the discovery process, each discovered AP will be running a controller-based software image and will have attached itself to the controller that discovered it. The access point is now ready to accept client connections.